Hola. Happy Wednesday. Hopefully you can hear me. I am doing something a little different with audio. So I hope you can hear me. If you cannot, please let me know in the comments. Hey, Nikki. I am going to give it just a couple more minutes to see who else might want to see what I got in my Fenty haul. Fenty Fall Hall, let's be very clear. <laughs> so thank you for joining. And let's see who else. Can you hear me, Nicole? Child, can y'all hear me now? That thing muted. Did I mute it by mistake? Can you hear me now? We're going to do one more test before I do my little greeting. Welcome to the channel and welcome back if <laughs> this is on replay. And sorry, but technology, what do you do? Okay, you can't hear me. I'm going to plug this back in to see... If y'all can hear me, I might have pressed the mute button by mistake. Listen, this is all new to me. So work with a sister. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> Thank you. Can you hear me now? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Awesome sauce. So I'm going to put this little mic back on and then I'm going to get busy. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, everybody. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, I am Charlene T. Easter. This is a safe space for melanated women 
who are prioritizing their happiness and their health by keeping their melanin popping, their mindset on point, so they can create magic in their everyday lives. Yes, with the equipment. So tonight, I am going to do a small, a kind of small, in case you can't tell, I like to shop, but I'm working on it. I'm working on me. And if by chance you saw my live last week, that was all about my PCOS um, stress and weight gain. You know, it was a little bit heavy. Um, good information, I think. I appreciate all of you who tuned in and for all of the kind words I have received since you watched it. So tonight I was like, let's make it light and fun, okay? So I'm gonna show y'all some stuff that I have received from Fenty, like everything Fenty. So I have a little bit, like a very little bit of Fenty skin, which is, I know everybody knows what Fenty skin is, right? And when I say Fenty, y'all know what I'm talking about, right? If you don't, drop a question mark in the comments so I can explain myself before I go on. <laughs> so I have a little bit of Fenty skin. I have um, very little Fenty beauty. Well, no, a little bit of Fenty beauty. And then I have some Savage X Fenty. I like to say Savage by Fenty, like <laughs> Savage. You know, you're a savage. And yeah, let's get into it. So one of the first things that I will show, do you all have a preference? Would you rather me start with what I plan to start with is just the skincare items that I have and then show like a few little things that I caught on sale. Um, one reorder thing in terms of the Fenty Beauty, which is the makeup stuff. And then I have several things to show from Savage X Fenty. And I'm wearing one of them. Quick question. Hey. Um, are you a fan? Well, are you a fan of like cozy comfort? Um, what do they call it? Um, loungewear, right? Like, <laughs> it's like, okay, whatever. Hey, Cynthia. Okay. The sale stuff. All right, cool. So we're going to do the skincare. And then we're going to do the makeup and then I'll get into the loungewear and lingerie. Y'all know what lingerie is, right? Yeah. Okay. Athleisure. Okay. 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 All right. So I'm doing a little bit of all of it. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to start showing. Now, a couple of things are things that I, I've had for like a little bit of a minute, but I have already taken it out of the plastic packaging, but I still haven't worn it yet. So I just wanted to show y'all some of the stuff that I've picked up. I can inform you that I do not need any more leisure wear. I do not need any more athleisure wear. And for right now, I don't need no more lingerie. But, you know, I'm going to show y'all what I got. So let's start with the Fenty skin. Have you ever tried any of the Fenty Skin or Fenty Beauty products? And if you have, let me know in the comments, what are some of the things that you've tried and you really, really like? I can tell you the things that I'm showing you. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not alone is what I'm hearing. Salon manager, I don't wanna call you that. Please drop your name. Please drop your name. <laughs> so let's start with the things that are not new to me from Fenty Skin. And the first thing is this Fenty Skin. This is the Hydrovisor. And this is actually a refill. I don't think I have my container nearby. But one of the things that I do like about her products is she's made quite a few things, especially... Oh, you got your whip body butter, Sandra. You're going to love it. I'm going to be stunned if you don't love it. I love it. And I know it's, a, it's at least one stand on the line for that whip body butter. <laughs> so this is the Fenty Skin Hydra Visor, and this is a refill. 
What this is, is the Invisible Moisturizer, and it is a broad spectrum SPF of 30. So this is your moisturizer and your sunscreen in one. I really do love this. Um, although I can honestly say nowadays I do like to try to get, <laughs> I do like to try to get um, SPF that is a little bit higher, like 40, 45, 50, and even more so because I've shared in some of my other videos that I have had skin issues in terms of acne and then a lot of acne scarring. So, you know, the sun can make any kind of acne or hyperpigmentation that you have darker. And although we have gorgeous melanin skin, it is super duper important that you wear sunscreen every single day on any skin that's exposed, starting just with your face and neck. So even if you're in the house, you want to wear sunscreen. Um, that's something that honestly, I haven't done most of my life. But I've been doing it probably for the past two or three years since I've been working with my master esthetician. Um, so this I like. I, I've lost count of how many times I've purchased this. So the way that this works with the refill, I like it because it feels really nice on your skin. I like the scent of it. And your face is going to glow. You're going to be glowing if you use this. And with the refill... And I'm sorry, I didn't think to grab my, um, my container, but I'll show you how the refill tube works. So essentially, this is like the top of the container and I would just twist the bottom of the container that this goes in, pop this in until you hear it snap and then it's gonna twist to the side to close up. But I wonder if, oh, it might come out. If it comes out, I'm gonna show y'all. All right, it's pink. I think it smells good. When this stuff first came, I like it. I think it smells nice. When it first came out, a lot of people were complaining, saying that the scent was really overbearing. I don't think so at all, but my hand has a little bit of sheen to it from probably a, a cleansing oil that I use to wash my hands. But look, Look how glowy that looks. It smells good, I think. <laughs> so instead of, I think for her skincare line, she really created it. She's added several things since her initial launch. But for her skincare line, I think she created it. You see that glow? Healthy skin glow. And I know quite a few of my friends are not hu huge. Um, oh, okay. You get the fragrance free, Nikki. Um, aren't big fans of a lot of makeup. So this will be great because this is going to be your moisturizer and your SPF in one. Just remember to reapply throughout the day. Next up, I have this Fenty Skin Flash Nap Instant Revival Eye Gel Cream and an eye massage tool. I've had this for a little bit, but I haven't used it yet, but we will be using it soon. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, okay. Almost all of her packaging is purple. So the directions for this say to use day plus night under and around the eyes. And I think this is supposed to be something that is going to help with puffiness. I wouldn't say under eye circles, but maybe puffiness. Hey, Jay. Yeah, and then it has this little tool. So this is something that you're supposed to be able to roll. It's, it's kind of cool too. And it said it was cool to the touch. So I guess you put a dot or two of this around your eye and then you would use this to massage it in, which would be nice. So we'll be trying this. Hey. So that's a new thing. And then this is brand new. Like I think this has come out maybe a little bit earlier this year. I have tried the Fenty um, Beauty Cleanser that I can't think of the exact name for it now. And I like it fine. Um, there are cleansers I like a little bit better, um, but it's not one that I would say I wouldn't use or repurchase ever. Um, it's just like when I do a review of all the other stuff because I try so many different things. I will 
naturally gravitate long term towards the things I like the best for my mature melanin skin, which also happens to be oily and on occasion dehydrated. But this is the Fenty Skin Cocoa Cleanser. And it says soothing all over cleansing bar. So I got it thinking that I would use it for my face, but all over cleansing bar to me means I can use it wherever, my face, my neck, my body, whatever. So I would give this a try. And then I also purchased this, um, the Fenty Skin Soap Dish. So I have something to put the bar soap in once I open it. So let's see what this smells like. And let's see, ooh. Let's see what this looks like and smells like. It's a nice, it's a nice ass bar of soap. Got a little bit of weight to it. Hold tight. I destroy packaging. Hmm. This smells nice. It doesn't smell like, it doesn't smell like cocoa. But it smells nice and it smells like if you ever buy like natural soap. So, hey, Pam, um, if you ever buy like natural soaps. It smells like that. Hmm. So, yeah, so this is the soap. And again, I'm assuming that you can use this on face and body. And this is the soap dish holder. That has Fenty skin embossed. So we can put this together now and I can go ahead and put this in the shower. So this is kind of neat. I think it's smart that they came up with a holder because we know soap can get messy as soon as you start to use it. So yeah, yeah. So that is pretty much all that I have this go around from Fenty skin. So I will show you now what I have from Fenty Beauty. Okay, so two things are repurchased items and two things are new things. So let's start with the new things. This is the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint Long Wear Fluid Lip Color. I have a couple others of these. Actually, they might be unopened too. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't put my hands on them right now. But this one is called Unveil. Can you see that? It's like a brown color. I like brown lips. And since we are entering the fall, why not have several different brown lips to wear, right? Oh, yeah. So in a minute, you may hear my daughter yell my name because she's just coming in the house. So, <laughs> But this is Unveil. Isn't that a pretty color brown? Should I put it on? Oh, it's almost like a, um, I like it. I feel like it looks a little bit different. That's my daughter. I'll do a hand swatch. Oh, this is nice. Sit there and you have it already and you love it. Okay. Have you tried the um, the new ones, the velvet? I feel like this isn't doing this justice, but that's a pretty brown. I feel like it's not too dark and it's not too light. I like it. We'll be wearing this one soon. This is Unveil. And if I'm not mistaken, like some of her lip colors, I do not think that these are matte. And I also do not think that these, oh, I stand corrected. This says one stroke intensity, long wear matte finish, unrivaled precision wand. So I'm gonna leave that there and see if she dries down. I have the red one and I felt like it stayed not glossy feeling, but a little bit moist, but I still love the color. It's really, 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 really pretty. So we're going to leave this here, but I think that's a really pretty brown. And I also have the liquid velvet breadwinner. That was pretty. That one I don't think dries down to a matte finish, but that's a it's, it's darker than this. And it's really, really nice. So that is one thing that is new from Fenty Beauty. 
And then this was on sale. So I don't know whether or not they are discontinuing. And FYI, I do have affiliate links, meaning that I will make a small commission if you purchase anything, if you use any of the links that I will put in the description bar as soon as this is over. <laughs> um, but I don't know if this is something that was discontinued because it was on sale. But this is called the Toasted Swirl. Y'all know I like body glow, right? And shimmer and stuff. Do I need any more? I do not. But that's not the point. This bronze shimmer powder. And this is a nice size container. <laughs> now, I got two of these because I got one for my kit and I got one for myself. When I opened up. Uh-oh. Uh, both of them are broken. So I'm not really going to be able to show you. So maybe that's why they won't sell, right? Because <laughs> the one downstairs, I picked this one thinking hopefully it was intact. Oh, this very silky feeling though. Um, But it's broken. It's broken. However, let me tell you what Charlene's going to do with this because I know you're dying to know. Now, it's a couple of things. Sometimes when, um, and I've had one other mishap with a Fenty Beauty highlighter. I put alcohol in it, mashed it all up and just let it dry. Um, I don't think I'll do that with this, to be quite honest. Um, I do like this compact and it's cute. And I like the size of it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna put this in a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna ground it up and I'm gonna put it in a little jar to use and just label it, both of them. So this is what the powder looks like. And this is what it looks like swatched on my hand. That's pretty. It didn't look like that in the container. Can you see that shimmery gold? That's pretty. So it's golden. So this is something that you could use as a highlighter on your face. I would use it on my eyelids. Um, I would use it on my collarbone. And honestly, I would use it on my body with like a big brush to give myself that little golden glow because again, y'all know I like body glow. Can y'all see it? It's right here. It's pretty. So yeah. They didn't make it through the shipping, but this was the Toasted Swirl Chocolate Swilla Bronze Shimmer Powder. So I'm just going to mash it up. I'm going to use it, to be clear, broken or not. We just going to put this in another container. So now we know why this might have been on sale. <laughs> so can't have enough body glow for me. And if you haven't watched my body glow video for um, different products that help, um, give your melanin skin a glow, check it out, leave a comment, let me know what you think. So I'm gonna put that back. And then these two products are repurchases. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. If you are not a makeup girl, meaning that you typically don't like, yes, <laughs> Cynthia, I saw you the other night. She was just like, what are you wearing? Y'all know I gotta keep the glow going. Mm -hmm. But this is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. And the shade that I wear is 360. I love this. Um, I really am. I mean, I wear all types of foundation. Let's be honest. If I had to say which formulation I wear the least, it probably would be these days. Yes. Thank you, Nikki. Um, it probably would be cream. I still wear them on occasion, but I wear cream the least. I am partial to powder, especially when it is hot outside. And if you are not a big makeup girl and don't love foundation, I really think you should try this. This um, and there is a sponge that comes in this compact. And it's fine if that's your preference, but I think it looks the best when you apply it with like a buffer brush. So this is the packaging. You can see my shade is 360. And for a really quick, um, really um, healthy looking flawless face, 
I will use the Fenty concealer and the two shades that I wear are 370 and 380. Is it 70? I think it's 370 and 380. 380 has a little more red to it. They look almost identical in terms of the tone, but 380 has more red. So wherever I have like dark spots, I might concentrate that to kind of cancel out some of the brown from the dark spots. And then 370 has a little more yellow to it. So I might use that to just brighten around my eyes. So I'll go in with that concealer, blend that out, and then I will use a buffing brush. That's the powder in case you're curious. Right now I'm a little darker, but that's the powder. This is 360. This is really good. Like I, I really like it. It looks like very healthy skin. And a lot of times when you're using powder foundations, they tend to look more, um, more mattifying. So then you might need to go in with like a hydration spray or something like this Tatcha Luminous or what I call the fancy water, <laughs> the MAC Fix Plus. But this is really good if you like something that is quick, um, especially for several of you who I know don't have skin issues, get you a really nice um, like buffer brush, swipe it, swirl it around in this powder and just buff it on your face and go on about your life. I love this. This might be like my 10th one. <laughs> I've purchased this quite a few times. And I even sometimes when I do makeup, for a news anchor. I use this on her. It looks really glowy um, and not in a greasy way. It's really, really nice. So I love this. And then the other and the last Fenty Beauty makeup related thing that I have that is a repurchase. And this was also in my um, body glow for melanin skin video. This is the Fenty Beauty Body Sauce Body Luminizing Tint. And the shade that I have is called Salty Caramel. I love it. Look at that video if you want to see what it looks like. So I will open this so you can see the packaging, but I won't pump any out because it'll get kind of messy. But this is nice. And this is more of, this is like a body makeup. So... To me, it is not glittery as much as it just looks like real radiant, even toned, bronze, tan skin. I love it. And to me, it smells like, I don't know why I feel like it's not quite baby powder, but it's kind of like a baby powderish scent, right? So I love this. I have one that is probably right here. And the last time they had a sale, I got this one because I just wanted to have an extra. And I have a problem shopping. So that is it for the Fenty Skin and the Fenty Beauty products. Now, let's get into this lingerie. So if you're a fan of onesies, I'm gonna stand up for two seconds. You're not gonna be able to see the whole thing just because, but I feel like one of the first things I saw from Savage X Fenty was this onesie and fell in love. I love cozy, casual, um, lounge wear and like in the winter I think it's good like because even though you're warm inside sometimes it can still be like a little bit cool versus having to wear like a robe so you can see this one says savage all over it and I think this color was like maybe I'm sorry uh olive olive green or something I am sweating eight balls do you hear me eight balls but just ignore that have my own personal summer. Um, <laughs> but I love these. I have nine or 10 of these because they come in so many different colors. <laughs> and I feel like every season she might try to add like a couple more colors. So yeah, give me 20 seconds, just 20 seconds to grab these thingamabobs, 20 seconds, 20 seconds.
Okay, hopefully that was 20 seconds. That's what was driving me crazy. Natural in that. Okay, now let me show y'all what I have from Savage X Fenty. So you see this and I will show you when I get down to that, like four other colors I have that I took those out of the packaging because they're kind of heavy, but I put them on hangers in my closet. I just haven't worn them yet. So let's look at Savage X Fenty also sells, um, you know, um, undergarments and stuff for men now. They didn't before, but they do now. So some of the things that I've purchased are, t are things that are geared towards men, but are cute and kind of comfy. But like these are boxers. Look at this. You can see through them. <laughs> but I thought they would be cute. Like cute just for me. But you know, if you have a significant other, I thought this was cute and I wanted them. So I bought them. And then it had like a matching tank top. And this is the back. So you can't see through, right? But look at the front. You can see through it. Isn't this cute? Like it would be nice too. Like if you have, you know, if you'd like to get something like this for your man, mm -hmm. I mean, or your woman, whatever you're into, I'm not here to judge, but I liked it, so I got it for myself. It's something like I can lounge in that would just still be cute, right? So this is something I purchased that I haven't worn yet. And then along the same vein, this is still in the packaging, but I had it in a drawer. I literally love these um, boxer briefs. I kind of always have had a thing for boxer briefs. I just couldn't find any that I felt like fit me. I have hips and I have a butt. Um, and felt comfortable. Like, you know, but these are very comfortable. And they're cute. So like this is something that sometimes I'll put on as my underwear for the day if I want to. Um, but I also sometimes just after a shower and I'm chillaxing, I will do these. And I have, I probably have at least four or five pairs in different colors. Like some of them, I think I have a couple pairs where it might be black, but the band is a different color. And then I have a couple that are solid colors. Like I know I absolutely have like a fuchsia color that I bought like a little um, bralette to go with. Like I just think it's good for us to wear things that make us feel cute, right? Even if you're at home chilling by yourself, you know, or not by yourself. <laughs> I like the things that feel cute. So I kind of ended up buying the whole set and these I've worn before, but I just wanted to show it to you. So this is like the little bralette and I have several of these that would kind of go with those boxer briefs. So whichever color boxer brief I purchased, I would get a little bralette to go with it that matched. Either the band is like the same color as the band on the boxer brief um, or the entire thing is a solid color. And then it has the Savage X Fenty on the band. And I also purchased, they have leggings. So mm, I might have about four pair of these leggings. When I tell y'all, <laughs> and I do like this stuff, like, I really do like this stuff. That's another reason I purchased it. And also FYI, they have sort of like a membership program. And the way it works is that you pay like a monthly fee. And I did a video that I'll see if I can find and maybe edit about, <laughs> about two. Yes. Power to the cute. Um, maybe two or three years ago where I opened, um, I'm sorry, where I ordered, like I placed my very first Savage X Fenty order and I bought like $300 worth of stuff, but I got 60% off because it's like when you join, they give you this 50 or 60% off discount. So I got a lot of stuff and I thought it was a quite entertaining video. It was a Facebook live I did a hundred years ago. I think on my personal page. So I have to see if I have it and maybe I can upload it here. <laughs> 
Um, and I was laughing at myself because some of the things that I purchased when I like you were seeing my genuine reaction to the things that I opened and a couple of things. I was just kind of like, now, wait a minute. I, I, I don't know what was going on when I purchased this. Um, so I'll see if I can find that and share it. But these are leggings and these have like the little X at the bottom and the band still match. So I definitely have. I have for sure at least two pair in this kind of cotton. And then I have these that I have not worn yet with the little bralette. And these are like satiny. And this is like a really pretty, it's gray, but to me it's sort of like a, a bluish gray color, but I like these. And this you see has the logo and it's metal, but these are also leggings. And they're a little bit stretchy. So I haven't worn these yet, but I like that. And again, all this stuff is cute. Would I work out in any of the things I'm showing you right now? Maybe these because they feel like they have a little bit of stretch to them. But the other things like, unless I was doing yoga, maybe some Pilates in the house, in my own house. Like, yeah, this I might wear out. Where's the top? Because it looks like a set you could wear out. Wait. Sorry, y'all. I don't know where the top went. We'll get to it. Oh, here it is. So see, this still has all the tags on it. So it's sort of, it's the same as the bralette, this cotton. But it's a different material. I like this. This doesn't, this is unlined as well, but it's like double. So to be 100% honest, I probably wouldn't wear this outside the house unless I was going to McDonald's to get a soda I don't need and I wasn't going to get out the car. <laughs> but I think these are super cute. I think these are comfortable. And yeah, I love cute and comfy. And um, if you're interested in this type of thing, um, I also have some skims things that I like to share. And tell me if you prefer to see like try ones. I haven't done that yet, but I'm open to some of them. To some of them. If it's too revealing, I'm not there yet. But I'm happy to just show what I have in case it's something that you are interested in for yourself and would like to see the color or how it actually looks in person. Um, or hear from me how I think it feels. So those are some of the lounge wear things that I've purchased. And this I thought was super cute. So this is another set. And this is a pajama set. And it came with this mask. So you can see it's still sealed up. But it's like a little sleep mask. They have some cute stuff. And it's got like a little, it's not quite padding, but like it's double lined. So there's a little sleep mask. That's the back. And I'm going to put this back. The pajamas are really cute and they're short. So this, it's black. And the sleeves are a little bit long, but it's still kind of thin. You can kind of see through it a little bit. Has a collar and it's cropped. But I thought this was really cute. Really, really cute. And the sleeves don't have button or anything on the end, but this is the top to the pajama set. And then these are the shorts to the pajama set. All of this is Savage X Fenty. It's cute. And in case you're interested, even with my weight loss, I buy large in most things, um, unless it's the men's stuff. If it's the men's stuff, and they have a sizing chart there. If it's the men's stuff, um, I will get a small I think because I think a men a men's small is like a woman's medium I believe but the size chart is there I feel like I started talking about the membership 
I think when you join, they give you like a big discount. So that's when I ordered all the stuff. And then after that, you pay a monthly fee, um, a designated day of the month. I think it was $49.95. And now I think it's $59.95. And the program has changed since I originally joined. So you pay your $59.95, say on the fifth of every month, and then you can use your credit because one payment is worth one credit to purchase items off the site and the credits um, do roll over. Now, I think they might roll over for up to about a year, um, but mine normally don't last that long, but mine have lasted for like two or three months. Well, but I didn't need anything else for a while. And then I'll just go in and sometimes I'll get gifts for other people. Um, I'll just wait until I see something I really, really love because I think they have new things related to, um, well, new lingerie things, right? I think they have something new every month. Um, but again, you see, technically I don't need anything. So I don't buy it just to buy it. Um, and then in terms of the monthly payment for the membership, you have the option to also skip payments. So if you go in, if your payment, say, for example, comes out on the 5th for the $59.95, you have through the 4th to go in and say, I don't want to make a payment this month because there isn't anything that I want or need. And you can skip the payment so that they won't charge you for that month. And you still have the credits that you already have that have accumulated. So that's how that works. So this, hold on. I'm messing up. I'm putting those back. Now, let's look at the pretty panties. Okay? Okay. And then one night slip. Well, let's do that first. This is really pretty. And actually, I did a boudoir shoot in 2021 it was really a great experience was i in shape no <laughs> was i anywhere near in the shape i wanted to be in to do it no but it still was like a great experience because of the person i did it with her name is maisha and she has a photography studio i guess she would call it her boudoir studio in Virginia Beach, you feel like a star. Like you have, she has a makeup artist that comes in who also does your hair. So she'll do your makeup, she'll do your hair. Maisha walks you through the different poses and stuff so you feel comfortable. She even has some lingerie on site so that you can look to see if there's anything that you want to use of hers. Um, different prompts, champagne. It was just really, really nice. And I am... And actually, one of the the photo um, is one of my boudoir photos. My face isn't showing, but it's one of my boudoir photos. And I just felt comfortable with her. And I am kind of modest and shy, um, trying to, you know, learn to be a little more comfortable in my skin. I mean, I'm comfortable in my skin for me, but I don't know, to be naked right <laughs> um because when when she she poses you and she guides you on how to pose so sometimes she might have to fix things for you so it didn't feel uncomfortable at all to me and the reason i did it is because my little sister did it like the year before and i was so impressed because i went with her when she did hers um her pictures were fire <laughs> um but it was just I encourage you to do it for yourself and currently not in a relationship, wasn't in one when I did it, but it was something I always challenged myself to just do for myself, just for myself. So with her, it was a fantastic experience and I do plan to do it again. I just want to get like in the shape I want to be in. So I'm really feeling it. And I want to get a long flowing weave because next time I told her I need her to have a Beyonce fan for me. So anyway, Back to this Savage X Fenty. Isn't this pretty? This is a slip. Let me tell you what it's called. 
This is the Mother Nature Underwire Slip. And this is purple and it is mesh, but I thought this was so pretty, so pretty. And this is the back. So it's like a bra and it's short, you know, like not, I mean, not super duper short, but it's short. Like you would expect a slip dress to be, but I thought the colors were just so pretty. So I'm glad I got this. And these are sets. Are y'all still with me? Oh, this is a really pretty color. So this, oh, I keep throwing the wrapper. Then I can't tell y'all exactly what it's called. <laughs> this is the microfiber thong in forest green. Oh, now I would have thought this was teal. I guess I can see the forest green, but this is forest green. Isn't that a pretty color? But microfiber, so you can see there's nothing that's gonna stick out. But yeah, my butt is large. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> and then this has the little logo on the front. So there's the thong, microfiber thong. And then this is the matching t-shirt bra. And this is also in forest green. And this has underwire. If you're not a fan of underwire, you may not like this, but this is the bra in the same color. So yeah, it's soft. Like I, I, th I think this will be really comfortable and I like the back because it is, it has like a little bit of an opening. So I like this. I think the, the, the lingerie I've purchased to wear, meaning bra and panty, everything I purchased has been really soft. And I used to be the Victoria's Secret girl, girl, girl. Um, so, and I thought those were things were soft, but these are really soft. So this is really cute. That's one set. I'm almost done y'all. And then this <laughs> is a bralette and this is the caged lace front clothes bralette in Fuji apple green. Look at this, look at this, ooh, look at this color, isn't this pretty, isn't this pretty? So you can see, you can kind of see through here a little bit, absolutely no padding of any sort. Um, and this fastens in the front, I like a front clasp so you can see how this is so I think this is a super cute bralette right Fuji apple green honey yeah and then okay I think I see what I did here so apparently I bought two bras oh this one is a different color Wait a minute. Okay, so either I have misplaced the panties to go with this Fuji apple green because I don't see them. Um, and I can't imagine I wouldn't have purchased a thong or something to go with it, but let's move on. This is the lightly lined lace balconette and this color is lime green. This has padding, this is pretty. And you see that kind of silver detail on the front. Really pretty. Just a regular standard closure in the back. So this is lime green. Again, this is soft. I mean, it's a little firm because it's padding, but it still feels soft. And to match, I have the caged lace. Oh, okay. So maybe... 
maybe I'm missing the undies to go with this <laughs> because I don't I don't see them but I'm sure I have some because I wouldn't pick a color like that and not get the matching undies so this is the Fuji Apple Green lace thong I don't know if y'all are thong girls but it has its place it ties on the side y'all know this cute y'all know this cute I love this color and there's the back so this is more like what I think they might call a v-string at least they used to call it a v-string so this is cute. So this goes with the Fuji Apple bra. And then the last bra and panty set is Wildflower Blue in color. And this is another lace unlined balconette bra. This is a very pretty color too. Isn't that pretty? That's such a pretty blue. These things are so sexy and feminine. And that's another thing like you should get dressed, smell good and look good for you first. And that is something I have been practicing for quite a while. Um, I never had a problem doing it for my significant other when I had one, but I love buying these things, putting them on, feeling like I look good and sexy for me. So yeah, wild flower blue. And then this says it is the lace song with hardware. What kind of hardware is it? Let's see. Oh, this is different than, um, what's the hardware though? Oh, maybe they just mean because it has this little X on here, but it doesn't tie like the other. Oh, this is cute. I like this. So it's the same pretty color, very lacy, very soft, a little bit of stretch here. And then the back is different. It's a little bit different, but this is cute. This is cute. So yeah, those are all the undies that I had in bags that I need to now fold and put in my drawer and wear sometime soon. And then the last two things, and I will let you have your even, are more for fall and I think within the past year or so, Savage X Fenty also started doing um, more athleisure wear um, and sport stuff. I think they call it sport. So I love this color yellow. I love this color yellow. And these are essential rolled cuff jogger sweatpants. So, and I think they run slightly big and these were, um, well, these are for men or women. So I'm pretty sure I probably got a small. Yeah, this is a small because I know it's like unisex, but I love this color since the fall is upon us. The fall is upon us and this is the bottom. And just so you know, you can uncuff these and that's how it'll look but they have them rolled up, but you can uncuff it. Like sometimes when you get cuffed pants, you know, it's a fixed cuff. So this isn't a fixed cuff and it has pockets. So yeah, these are the sweats. That's the back of the sweats. And I got an essential drop shoulder crop hoodie in the same color to go with those sweatpants.
This feels really cozy and warm. I'm gonna hang these up. So here's the sweat, the crop sweat. <laughs> it's a hoodie. The sleeves are long and seem like they have a little room. But I like this, I think it's cute. I love this color. I love this color. And then the very last thing is this Essential Relaxed Onesie. <laughs> so it's different than this one. This one doesn't have any sleeves at all. And it's kind of, it's thick to me. And this is something I would wear outside the house. So this color that I got is olive and it's made like this. So you could wear something under it if you were going outside the house. This is the front and it has a pocket, a little pocket. It has side pockets. And then it has wide legs. <laughs> yeah, it has wide legs. So yeah, I think this will be really comfortable to wear. And I actually will wear this out like with a turtleneck or something and some boots because it's, it's fairly thick. It's not super thick, but it is like, it feels like it has a little bit of a soft fleece inside. So for cool weather days, I would wear, I would wear that outside the house. And yeah, that is my Fenty fall haul. These are so pretty. Aren't these pretty? I love this color. So yeah, that's what I wanted to share. That's what I wanted to share. And I thank you again for joining and hanging out with the sister tonight. If you have not, as Nikki mentioned, please hit the like button. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. And I will make sure I have active links in case there's anything you're interested in purchasing. from Savage X Fenty or Fenty Beauty and Fenty Skin. And if you have questions about any of, especially um, the skin or beauty products, well, or the um, lingerie and loungewear, feel free to ask me, leave a comment. And if I can answer it, I'll answer it. If it's something that I have worn before or used before, I'll always give my honest opinion about it. Um, and if it's something I haven't, who knows with me, maybe it's something I will purchase. <laughs> Um, and then I can talk about it. So as you can see, I am truly a fan of Fenty. And as you can also see, I don't need anything else. <laughs> so thanks again for hanging out with me tonight. I appreciate you all. And until next week, I will see you then. And um, for the record, again, if you missed my PCOS stress and weight video, I encourage you to check it out. Um, especially if you have ever had difficulty in the workplace or had to work in and endure like a toxic work environment. I hope that it will provide a level of encouragement for you um, as well as some information. Um, but next week, I'm going to do part two to my PCOS stress and weight. And I will be discussing my experience with Wegovy. So I mentioned in the other video, a different drug that I used that was very helpful to me. Um, but I kind of was like, hold off if you might be interested before you talk to your healthcare provider, because the Wegovy might be a better option for you because I do believe it to be much more effective. So next week, eight o'clock. I'll be sharing part two. It won't be as heavy. <laughs> um, and I hope to see you here. Y'all have a good night.